So I'm going to talk to you about how to convert a light year into meters. And what is a light year? So let's say if I have a source of light in my hand and I'm going to light it into space and 365 days later, I will be standing somewhere in the space and measuring how far this light has traveled to get to me. That distance is what I call a light year. So the distance that the light travels in one Earth year. So um, a lot of students actually do make mistakes of thinking that a light year is a measurement of time. Remember that it's not, and it's just a measure of distance. Now, the next thing I want to show you is to how to actually convert it. And I'm going to use a little bit of basic physics to do this. And the basic physics involves speed equal distance over time. I told you it was going to be easy. So um, what is the speed of light here? We already know that's 299 kilometers per second. And to be a little bit more exact, maybe I can use the full number, 792 here. Now, velocity equals distance over time. So that's distance. And I know the time is one year. So what I need to do is to convert this one year into seconds, and this distance will be already and automatically in kilometers. So how to convert one year into meter, uh, in, uh, into seconds? That's easy. So I will write it here, what I want to convert. And then what do I want to convert it to? I want to get rid of one year, and I want to actually convert it into days first. So one year is 365 days. Then I want to get rid of days, so I write it in the opposite side. So if it's in the, on the top, I'm going to write it in the bottom. So one day is 24 hours. And then I'm going to multiply this by hour, and then I want to get eventually seconds. So one hour is... 3600 seconds and we already know that right good so if I were to put these numbers into my calculators I will end up with getting a big number here so three one five three six zero 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 seconds so this is how many seconds are in one year now that I have my time in seconds, I'm going to actually use my formula. So speed of light equals distance over time. I'm going to rearrange this for D. So distance equals C times T. And I'm going to plug everything in there. So I'm looking for distance, which is my um, light year in kilometers. Speed of light is 299,792 kilometers per second times the T that I got from the uh, previous page, so 315-36000 seconds. And if I were to multiply them together, I will end up with 9.45 times 10 to the power of 12 kilometers. So that is the distance that the light travels in one year. Example, I'm going to actually show you how to convert degrees to radians and radians into degrees. So let's say if I were to convert 30 degrees into radians, I'm going to use this formula right here, the second one. What it says is that 1 degree is 2 pi over 360 degrees times the radians, or actually the unit is radians, sorry. So what you will have is that uh, if 1 degree is this, so if you want to find 30 degrees, so you multiply this by 30. And once you multiply the left-hand left side of the equation by 30, you have to multiply the right-hand side by 30 as well. So you're going to write it here. And then you're just going to write the rest. And then you will find that the zeros will cancel. 3 times 3 is 1. 36 times 3 is Thirty-six times three is twelve. Twelve divided by two is six. So you will end up with pi over six radians. So thirty degrees is this much radians. Now let's do another example. So let's maybe just convert two hundred and seventy degrees into radians. 
So same thing, if I multiply, if I have the equation of one degree is two pi over 360 radians, I'm gonna multiply this side by 270, and the next side by the right hand side by 270. And I'm gonna write the rest. And what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna divide this. The zeros are gonna cancel. 27 divided by nine is three. 36 divided by nine is four. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. And I'm going to be left with three pi over two radians. So let's now do one more example of converting radians into degrees. So 3.2 radians, I want to convert it into degrees. How do I do that? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the other equation that my degree is equal 2 pi radians. If 360 degrees is 2 pi times radian, so if I multiply 2 pi by whatever the radian angle is, it's going to give me my angle in degrees. So I will have 20.1 degrees. That's about it.